Hello friends, this is, this is Deepak Sarma from Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube and in this tutorial videos I will discuss most important concept of thermodynamics which is asked in gen which is generally asked in every mechanical engineering interview. Okay, and that is what is the difference between reversible process and irreversible process or what is reversible process most of the students are not able to define what is reversible process and what is reversible process so in this lecture i am trying to make you understand what is difference between reversible process and irreversible process so quite wasting time let's focus first on reversible process okay so let me draw a pv diagram pv diagram this is pressure axis along y axis and this is volume axis along x axis x axis okay this is nothing and the, suppose this is point 1 and this is point 2 and question is what is reversible process a process 1 to 2 is said to be a re reversible process okay a process 1 to 2 is said to, said to be reversible process if anyhow it can we can go through we can go from 2 to 1 and system and surrounding the system and surrounding does not suffer any change okay such condition is known as reversible process let me make it clear once again a process 1 to 2 is said to be reversible process if anyhow we are we will be able to go from point 2 to 1 and by doing so there will no there should not be any change in system and surrounding that means system and surrounding should not suffer any change by doing so that by doing from uh, by doing uh, sorry by going from point 2 to 1 okay so this is the basic meaning of reversible process let me give you an example of let me give you an example suppose we have a pot and in this in this pot we have a water okay and now we are providing heat from the button that's when we are basically heating it okay then what will happen then this water will be vaporized this water will be vaporized and go to atmosphere go to surrounding okay go to atmosphere or go to surrounding and if anyhow we will this uh, if anyhow uh, we are be able shit. and if anyhow we will be able to condense this vapor to once again into a liquid form then will it be a re reversible process i want to ask you if anyhow so first what we did we first uh, give it to water water gets vaporized okay and again we are trying to condense this vaporized water into liquid then by doing so i want to ask you is this reversible process is this reversible process is this reversible process because we have get a liquid form initial uh, liquid form once again so from outside it is clear that it is a re we can say that it is a reversible process but if we will go through the actual definition of reversible process then we will get idea that by doing so that uh, by doing so means uh, by converting liquid to vapor and again vapor to liquid surrounding and system has got surrounding and system has got permanent change okay that's why it is a irreversible process it is an irreversible process okay so any process in this nature is irreversible process reversible process is an ideal process reversible process is a ideal process ideal and ideal process okay and this doesn't occur in nature for our simplification of any system that is working we consider that this is okay oh, by ignoring or by neglecting some factors 
we consider okay this is a reversible process but in actual process there is nothing that we call reversible process then what is irreversible process irreversible process is something in which irreversible process is something which does not follow the rules of or does not follow the definition of reversible process that we call a reversible process this is very simple if you understand what is reversible process then will we you will be able easily understand what is irreversible process okay and uh, why this irreversible process occurs what is the reason, cause of irreversibility that i am going to tell you let me give you a simple one example suppose this is a body a and this is the body b this has a temperature t1 and this has a temperature t2 the condition is that t1 is greater than t2 okay so if we connect these two body then heat transfer heat transfer will take place from a to b heat transfer will take place from a to b and up to when this heat transfer will take place until unless heat uh, temperature of the two bodies body a and body b will not be same okay once the temperature of the two bodies will be same then heat transformation will occur so if we have to make it we have to draw an initial condition once again that's when we will have to again maintain a temperature at a t1 and at b t2 then what is required we will require a heat pump heat pump heat pump that's when we 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 will have to provide external work by heat pump okay then what is the cause of irreversibility temperature difference between two bodies temperature difference between two bodies okay temperature difference between two bodies and free the different dissipative force dissipative force force like friction it is a current flow through resistors current flow through resistors resistors current flow through resistors and uh, and the mixing of two substance mixing of two substance mixing of two substance so this is all about reversible and irreversible process so if you like my videos then please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is fund of mechanical engineering on youtube till now thank you and in my next lecture i will upload i will uh, in sorry so in my next videos i will make lecture on basic thermodynamics process till now thank you thank you everyone